I've got another voiceover video for you today, partially because, well, I was out of town all Sunday afternoon, and partially because our topic today isn't really one that lends itself to a recording session out in the public. Let's start with the easy stuff. Today we begin our home stretch of the 21 days of prayer. And for this week, we're going to be praying for things closer to home, literally closer to your home. See, I'm asking you to pray this week for your neighbors and also for the people in your general sphere of influence. So today, let's start off and at some point in time, go on a quick walk around your neighborhood and make some observations as you walk. Ask God to bring his blessings on the people in those houses. Ask God to create in them a hunger to know him and to ask God to give you somehow an opportunity to make a positive difference in their lives. For the next few minutes, though, I won't be talking about your neighborhood specifically because I don't know all the things going on in your neighborhood. That's one of the reasons why I'm asking you to walk through it and make some observations. Today, in this little video, I want to talk for just a couple more minutes about something in our extended neighborhood. That is the Tippecanoe School Corporation. For the past few years, the Pastors Alliance, a group of pastors representing the African-American community in town, has been trying to get a meaningful audience with the Tippecanoe School Corporation to address some pretty serious incidents of racist bullying and other expressions of racism in the schools. Last year, a teacher was fired because he told a joke in class that started with the phrase, what's the difference between a and then used a derogatory racist slur. However, for years now, their attempts for meaningful dialogue about racism in the schools have failed. And honestly, they're feeling pretty frustrated. But I don't want to throw the school board under the bus either. I mean, these are complicated issues, and I don't envy the job they have to do to address them. I'm telling you about it today for three reasons. Number one. In praying for our neighbors, it helps to understand the issues our neighbors are facing. And so I wanted you to know about this particular issue so that you can be praying more effectively. But number two, what happens in the schools is deeply tied to what happens in our neighborhoods. And number three, sadly, racism is an active presence in our local schools. And therefore, it's a specific cause for prayer. So today, I'm asking you to join me. Join me in prayer for our schools. Join me in prayer for our neighborhoods. Join me in prayer for our neighbors. And join me in prayer that God would fashion us into a more equitable society where we see everyone as a neighbor and where we love them as ourselves.